hello guys welcome back again and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize a dialog box and basically this dialog box can be used to show some result or to configure some app settings something like that so this is where I think you should pay a little attention anyway guys my name is Subhajit and I make videos on Android app development so if you haven't subscribed this channel yet then please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I publish any video well now let's jump into the Android studio alright so in this project I have already added a button called show dialog you can clearly see it in this activity main.xml and also I have attached the on click listener with this button so all the required code needs to be written inside this onClick method. Anyway, I'm going to create a method first. Private void. Let's name it so dialog. Now we can call this method in here. So whenever a user clicks on the button we will be showing a dialog box so first we will create a dialog instance dialog space dialog equal to new dialog then pass this for the context now we can set our layout by calling dialog dot set content view and for this we need to create a layout file although i have already designed a layout inside the layout directory which is called a layout custom dialog and as you can see in this layout file we have an image view two text views and two buttons here we have another button in fact this is also an image view Actually you can add any widgets in your layout file according to the requirements. Like you can add edit text, check boxes, radio buttons, progress bar, recycler view and many more. So just design a layout then continue. In case if you don't know how to create a layout file, right click on the layout file then new layout resource file. Then simply give it a name like this then ok so I think you have done this now let's continue for now just remember this name layout custom dialog which we will be passing over here so r dot layout dot layout custom dialog now to show the dialog we can call dialog dot show ok I'm going to build the project now let's click on the button and here is our custom dialog box so simple now if you want to get the rounded corners of your dialog box for that matter you should have to create a shape similar to this BG window drawable where this driver itself has a 12 dp corner radius now let's set this rectangle shape as the background so dialog dot get window then dot set background driver resource then r dot driver dot bg window ok now i'm going to open up our custom layout file and I just need to remove this background attribute because we are doing this from the Java anyway let's build the project again as you can see now we got 12 dp radius on each corners perfect Alright, now I'm going to show you how you can utilize a uh, dialog's max width. Uh, because the by default a uh, dialog box uses 
the 80% width of the phone screen. And this dialog box is also using that amount of width. So now let's open the style.xml file which should be inside this value folder. But if you are using the latest and greatest version of the Android Studio or above 4.1, then you may don't see that style.xml file. In fact, you should have a folder called themes. Just expand it, then open the above theme.xml. Now I'm going to create a separate style, angle bracket, style, Let's name it dialog style. Then parent theme dot appcompat dot dialog. Now in this style tag, we will add two attributes: window minimum with major with hundred percent, then window min with minor with hundred percent also. Now you can set this style on a dialog. So let's move on to our main activity and here we can set this style r dot style dot dialog style and that's it. Okay, let's build the project again. As you can see now our dialog box got the max width, although this is not looking great. So you can decrease some percent value. Now I'm going to show you how you can initialize these views in Java. For instance, we are going to initialize this button. So let me see what ID it has. ID is button close. And the purpose of this image view button is close the dialog box. Anyway, let's move on to our main activity class. And here we will create an image view variable. So, image view, let's call it uh, button close equal to dialog dot find view by ID r dot ID dot button close. Then button close dot set on click listener. Then new on click listener. Hit tab. Now here we can call dialog dot dismiss. And we can do the same thing for the other views also. Anyway, I'm going to build the project now. Let's click on the close button. Yes, dialog is dismissed. And I think I have shown you all the steps that you need to know while customizing a dialog box. But if you still have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. I will definitely address them. And if you feel this video helped you a little bit, then hit the like button and also do subscribe and share with your friends. So that's all for today guys, see you soon in the next one.